Come into the house of the Lord, all God's people. Come singing songs of great praise and glory to this is a day of the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Happy Pentecost Sunday. Happy Memorial Day weekend. Good morning. I am Marcus Hill. I am the pastor of Youth and Families. Pastor Tom is away on vacation somewhere probably in Hawaii. JK, he's probably at his parsonage. But he is on a much needed vacation and so you all are stuck with me this morning. But I am so glad to be here. It is such a beautiful day outside. So let us worship the Lord in truth and then get out there and enjoy this beautiful day. As, we, as I lead service this morning, I ask that you quiet your hearts, quiet your minds, quiet your phones as we go into a time of worship. Let's join our voices together, now singing our opening hymn found in Hymno 245, like the murmur of the dove's song. Please stand if you are able. Holy Spirit, we remember your outpouring. On the day of Pentecost, you settled like tongues of fire on all flesh, both young and old, displaying your glory to pilgrims from every nation. Come, Holy Spirit, we seek your refreshment. Wash over us with peace that passes understanding, with gratitude for our daily bread, with love for our neighbors and for ourselves, and with courage for the journey set before us. Come, Holy Spirit, we await your transformation. Send us out with power to love those whom the world calls unlovely, to strengthen those who have faltered along the way, to blind up the brokenhearted, to employ your gifts in the struggle for justice. Come, Parcelet, be our helper as we help the neediest among us. Be our comforter as we comfort those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Be our advocate as we advocate for the voiceless and the parentless. Change us, we pray, Move us and send us into the world under your power, for your glory. Amen. Each Sunday, we renew our promises to one another and to God. If these words are unfamiliar to you, please feel free to listen. Please join me now as we recite together the covenant of Mom Memorial Congregational Church found in your bulletin. In the love of truth and in the spirit of Jesus, we unite for the worship of God and the service of humanity. And as the Lord's free people, we agree to walk together in all God's ways made known or to be made known to us. We seek to create God's world of peace. It is a daunting task, but one that starts easily enough among ourselves. Here at MCC, we have a tradition called the Holy Spirit Handshake. 
So you hold your hand up to your neighbors and to your heart, and you hold your hand up to theirs. I invite you to pass the peace to one another as you are able. you to know that no one who is speaking by the Spirit of God says, Jesus, be cursed, and no one can say, Jesus is Lord, except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of gifts, but the same Spirit distributes them. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. There are different kinds of working, but in all of them, and in everyone, it is the same God at work. Now to each one, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the common good. To one, there is given through the Spirit a message of wisdom. To another, a message of knowledge by means of the same Spirit. To another, faith by the same Spirit. To another, gifts of healing by that one Spirit. To another, miraculous powers. To another, prophecy. To another, distinguishing between spirits. To another, speaking in different kinds of tongues and to still another, the interpretation of tongues. All these are the work of one and the same spirit, and he distributes them to each one, just as he determines. Just as a body, though one, has many parts, but all its many parts form one body, so it is with Christ. For we were all baptized by one spirit, so as to form one body, whether Jews or Gentiles, slave or free, and we were all given the one spirit to drink. Amen. Let us pray. Holy God, send your spirit to blow through us this day. Enliven our bodies that we may serve in the body of Christ. As you have called, may we see the gifts in one another that all work for the coming of your kingdom will be done for you and in you. And in Christ's name do we pray, amen. So today I would like to draw your attention to the fact that it is Pentecost. We were first called Christians at the Church of Antioch in Acts the second chapter. It is a beautiful and transformative event some would even call it the church's birthday. It is a significant event in the church's calendar because it marks the onpouring of the Holy Spirit upon all the disciples. So it was a great day. It was a great day to celebrate. It was a great day of joy. In fact, it was such a great day that that's why we don't have as many people here today because they are out in Maine and Vermont and New Hampshire and Martha's Vineyard celebrating Pentecost. <laughs> or at least that's what I tell myself. <laughs> so in our time today, I would like us to just for a moment reflect on Paul's letter found in 1 Corinthians that was just read as we discover the timeless relevance of how Pentecost is so relevant for us today. So, being Baptist, I have three points, but don't worry, they're very short. So, the first point we get from this letter is the gift of unity in diversity. The gift of unity in diversity. 
So in the passage from Corinthians, Paul emphasizes that we are diverse individuals. I knew that we were diverse individuals, but even more so when I came here to MCC. We have so many talents, we have so much love and hospitality in one place. You see, Paul emphasizes this diverse individual because we are all united in the body of Christ. But we are all united in the body of Christ through the Holy Spirit. Now, the Holy Spirit is not limited by our age. It is not limited by our race. It is not limited by our sexuality. It is not limited by our height or our weight. For God has given us the Holy Spirit as a gift that we would do his work. That work includes ministering to those who need him. It includes helping those who are sick, serving those who are in need. The gifts of the Holy Spirit allow us to witness from generation to generation. And we are a testament to the enduring nature of the Holy Spirit's presence. We all have our unique stories. We all today have our unique gifts. We have wisdom, we have talents, and it is through the Holy Spirit that God allows those wisdoms, those stories, and those talents to manifest itself in our community, in our church, and in our families. Consider this for an example, our church choir. The Holy Spirit empowers each member to contribute their individual voices, whether it's singing, playing in instruments, directing, playing the bells. You see, all of these gifts are meant for the leading of worship. It is the unity of these diverse gifts. It is the unity of our singing. It is the unity of the songs that we pick on Sunday. It is the unity of the congregation when we open our mouths and we sing songs. It is these diverse gifts that create a beautiful melody. And I must say the melody was magnificent this morning from the choir. You see, the Holy Spirit unites our voices that transcends our background. It transcends anything that may hinder us from using the gifts that the Holy Spirit empowers us to do. So when the Holy Spirit unites our voices,